The Morrowind expansion for The Elder Scrolls Online revives the island of Vardenfell, the setting of one of the most acclaimed RPGs ever made. Like many other players, you might be considering jumping back in after a long absence and seeing what it's like. Depending on when you quit playing though, you might find a lot has changed. In many ways, it's a significantly different game. Here are some quick tips to help you get back on your feet. Way Shrines are the easiest way to get around in The Elder Scrolls Online, as they allow you to port back to them from other Way Shrines or anywhere in the world as long as you've discovered them. Usually you have to unlock them by walking out to each one, but the island of Vardenfell simplifies this process by reviving the Siltstrider network from Elder Scrolls 3. When you first arrive near Vivek City, run up to the giant flea-looking monstrosity outside a tower, and its porter will take you to distant spots across the island. Well, I'm assuming you're in need of a ride. It's usually a short jog to the nearest way shrine, regardless of where you go. This is an old tip, but it remains relevant. The Elder Scrolls Online has three different skill lines for light, medium, and heavy armor, with each generally corresponding to a different playstyle. You never know when you might need to change that playstyle, though, so it's best to level them all at once. The Elder Scrolls Online makes that process easy. Simply wear at least one piece of each type of gear as you fight monsters and turn in quests, and all three skill lines will go up as you level. One of the most significant changes to The Elder Scrolls Online since launch is the ability to steal items and pickpocket NPCs, then sell your ill-gotten gains to fences at outlaw refuges in most major cities for hefty profits. Just don't get caught, and make sure you stay hidden in sneak mode while looting the items. If you are caught and choose not to fight, you'll have to pay a bounty and give up all the stolen goods in your infantry. Make it to the fence though, and you can launder stolen items you want to sell, or safely keep them for crafting. Major cities are all over the place in The Elder Scrolls Online, but often they make the business of doing business complicated. Luckily, there's a place where the bank, guild traders, die station, crafting tables, and outlaws refuge are all in easy reach on foot. That's Ralkar, in the Reaper's March Zone, and it's easily the most convenient town in the game. It's certainly more convenient than the Morrowind expansion's labyrinthine Vivek City, if you don't have the Way Shrine, just ask someone in your guild or in chat to allow you to teleport to them. They'll usually oblige. They were probably headed there anyway. Many of you may have left because the Elder Scrolls Online didn't originally feel Elder Scrollsy enough. But that's changed a bit in the three years since launch. Nowadays, the three factions barely matter outside of PvP. Generally, if you can get to a zone, you can quest there and at any level too, just as you might in Skyrim. The gear and crafting materials that drop similarly scale to your level, so there's little need to worry about missing out because you chose to level in Vardenfell instead of the Rift. The Elder Scrolls Online now supports player housing, which for the most part is ridiculously expensive. But you can get a hotel room for free with a quest specific to your faction, and there's a relatively cheap one in the Morrowind expansion's Vivek City that's available for 3,000 gold. You should totally take advantage of it even if you don't plan to furnish it. Player housing essentially acts as a free way shrine, thus allowing you to port from anywhere in the world without having to worry about spending money or going outside a dungeon. Especially with an inn, there's usually a way shrine nearby that'll take you where you need to go. For more on The Elder Scrolls, check out my Legends review, a feature on how The Elder Scrolls Online has totally changed since launch, and the trailer for the new Morrowind expansion, right here on IGN.